this video is going to basically take off where the last one left off. You know, the last video where I proved my point against my troll. Well, I want to show you the rest of that area. Just some of the rest of it, not all of it. But remember, here is the North Pole area. And remember how I showed South America hooks around this part? Well, I wanted to put this right here and show you what happens. Except for what I want to do is I want to roll this area over so we can take a closer look on it, at it straight on. Because I, I noticed some a couple things here like that triangle piece see how it lines up there you can see that there are other alignments well I wanted to show you what it looks like straight on okay so here's North America and this is that area that goes has that arch and here's the arch here but this time I'm gonna put this in that area and I'm going to line up the triangle part here right here and here back away now we got to take a good close look at what's going on here to do close-up shots though to really sell this but look as I bring it in bring it over see how it matches See how it matches over here. With the island. Recurring pattern. You know that's moving through, so. And I can tell that this is a reoccurring pattern of this. But that's something I'll have to look into later. I just wanted to point it out. Oh, yeah. See the reoccurring patterns with the tip. See how it lines up again. And then it lines up again right there. And when it does, it lines up here. see this swirling here and this darkened area you can see how it matches up like you can see it moves from there to there
See how the Great Lakes seem to fit in this notch? another point right there as this right here fits into here I should uh, you know ask one of my trolls if that's the match That's not a match either. This is not a match right here. This is not a match right there. But what's cool about this right here look at these marks right here as this lines up to here you can see this is matching into here you can see that this island is the real result of something growing larger and spinning like the beginning of a storm right like a hurricane as, as it's increasing in size Is the Amazon River you could see that it follows this arch I said the California Basin also uh, uh, was was gouged out by well the uh, Grand Canyon which is the base charge for the Amazon River so it'd be safe to try to do an overlay with these two areas because they're probably reoccurring patterns on one or the other okay so here we go with the West Coast this area was sitting up here, remember? What's cool about this is that, watch as I bring it in. Got the tip right here. We got the Hawaiian Island chain right here. Notice as I bring this in, the basin of California This fits in here, I guess, like that. You, okay, I see what it is. You know, the, the, the coastline. Again, it's the coastline thing. It looks like it needs to rotate, but you can see that it aligns. And if you don't see that it aligns, it's okay, don't worry. This goes up here, that's why. Okay. Now that matches.
matches up with the coastline, but then it moves, it's going to match up no matter what, see? Because this is all boils down to that these are reoccurring patterns of a small area. So this goes, I'm pretty sure this goes right here. But I think it also slides down here too. As it fits into that. It's like this peels the California basin peeled off. I think this reverses. I have reasons to believe that too, just, just from experience of looking at these. But we'll just we'll stick with this for now. Looks like that can go there or here. Either way, um, what's cool about this is that oh, that's how we can pinpoint. Look, uh, here's this this triangle feature. We got triangle, triangle. down to here look yeah there you go it fits all over this place you can tell this this also spins too like that but that's something I'll have to deal with when I have more time to show you because I got something really cool to show you remember I said that uh, the Amazon discharge pattern must have went around up there well that's down here now and the crazy thing about this Amazon discharge pattern is the distance from here to here is the same as the California Basin. See, look. And I think I can get the, the correct angle by lining those up. Let me get rid of one so we can see the other. You can see how this is fit in the coastline. I, I said that I made claims that this actually slot, um, sweeps. But it also sweeps the other way too. Because I think this folds around. So. So let's see what this looks like really quick uh, without. See how it molds around? And in here, there's just something that happens. And it's Yellowstone Park. See how it fits? It fits in there. Here's Yellowstone Park right here. Here's the Amazon discharge pattern right here. Here comes this right here. Oh, gosh darn it. I hate when it does that. You get the idea, right? I'll, I'll In another video, I'll go into way more detail. But for now, that's, that's the best I can do until uh, I have more time. Because i got to get this out to you. As it is. See, look at that's incredible. How It matches. Look at that. Plate tectonics. There's no way it can be right. It's electromagnetism that made this planet. There are no plates. They're lying about the plates or they're misreading their data. One of the two. Either way, 
it's not the, w the way it is and that's all that matters See, look at that. Swivel this back around. Um, there you go. See how it all matches up. A triangle area fits right there. You know what that means? That means that this fits right there. Okay, so how's this? The east coast. Here's the west coast. Now this is where... Okay. Even though this doesn't make sense, can you think of any reason why that I would be wrong, though? Because watch as I bring this in. Now let me back away and let me show you what's going on here. Look at the Hawaiian Island chain. Look at those lines. Remember the these lines right here with the whole going every direction with the wine island. Here's Yellowstone Park and the Grand Canyon. Notice how they fit inside the Gulf of Mexico. You see this V shape? rotates in, watch. Actually, I just noticed this, look. This is the center of rotation right here. Look how it fits in on itself here. See this V shape here?
Okay, let me just show you. When you look at this, you could tell that this is uh, rotating. So when I put this back up in here, first of all, you can see that there's a match between here. You can see the Mississippi River right here, and that this sits right around there. that what's happening though is it's rotating like this just bear with me it's just I'm figuring this out right now said that all reoccurring patterns are different depths of the same process. Let me get straight on shots of this area and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I want to point out something really quick here. Here's South America. Here's North America. You notice here's the continental shelf. See? See how it fits in there? spins is sitting in here at one point as this comes down in here now I'm, I'm still looking myself hold on see where the Mississippi Delta and these other features line up. Hold on, this is getting a little messy because uh, I'm, this is the first time I'm finding this right here. is going into here with these Birkeland currents. South America and Central America. Remember, I showed you, I showed you that uh, was it the Yellowstone Park was sitting in here in the Gulf of Mexico, and it's rotating. And you can see that there's this number six off the coastline here. 
can see that this fits like a sword, like a samurai sword in its sheath. And I'll have to get straight on shots though to really sell this so you'll see. But I gotta show you the, what's going on here. Look at South America. Let me take away the ocean here. Hold on. Okay, I got the two versions here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and wrap this up quick because I, I gotta, I wanna be able to upload this soon. So check it out. Here's the one with the continental shelf, and I line up first of all up here in the, the Gulf of Mexico. You can see it tilts and drops out. And then you can see that these features match the inside parts of North America, but when I bring it further down,
this to this. See, look right here how it fits. It's rotating in. Right here. See how it's curled right here? And this point goes right into here. see the Amazon River is sweeping North America like a windshield wiper. And this, well remember this bulge comes down and then flips around. That's what that X I think means. Like that. Remember I said it was squared up. Take a look at this before I I stop and uh, take a big rest and end this video. Here's North America. I showed you basically how it got down here, and I show you how it lines up here. But watch what happens when I take Africa and I bring it in. go grasp on reality is that a match I don't know maybe you can tell though that uh, that I'm proving plate tectonics is absolutely wrong despite your opinion <laughs> thanks for watching guys watch as I bring it in further where's the seafloor spreading here Thanks for watching guys. Oh, and then the best part is is when I line up the Gulf of Mexico and this part of Africa. Thanks for watching. There's a lot more coming.